Good day and howdy. Thanks for tuning into DR Jewelry and Designs. Um, I would just like to show a short tutorial about how to make a full cloth setting. Just the cloth setting only, not the ring part. The ring part will come in part two. So let's just move to the next scene. All right, so you start out with um, a star and then we're going to initialize it down here in the initialize. I'm gonna change the resolution to one by one by one and make it a cube. So I just put it there and then you turn on your poly frame. Hang on. Turn this one by one by one. Try it again. There we go. So now you know there's no other points in there and it's just a cube with one side each. Then I have some reference material which is on the screen behind. I'll just to minimize that. You can see that's the setting that we're gonna that we're going to copy. So we'll open that up on top. And that little slider up here called see through, you can adjust the resolution so you can see through it. We're going to grab that cube and narrow it. Narrow it to just enough the width of that profile of the setting, and then we also would like to um, stack more polys on top of that. So you kind of rotate it at a slight angle and cumulus your poly. Long enough to cover everything. I think that's pretty long enough. Turn it side on, move it over, and rotate it around. Now we need to get it to move along that axis there with the move thingy and into such make sure everything's covered there looks about right Now, we need to shift these points. So you hold down the space bar, and we want to go to move. And we want infinite X, Y, Z, as well as you can activate the symmetry to make sure that something on the other side of it includes the second point but it doesn't look like that's centered properly. So I need to go back to that, unlock it, turn it around, go to home, go to center, lock it. Now activate symmetry. points to kind of match the profile. Side profile. Let you get around. Tell it's pretty right. That one here will ship it to the it a bit until it looks 
Come on. Might have to pop one in there. I think that's probably a good idea to put one in. Hold down your space bar. If we want it into the poly loop. Put one in there. Yeah, there we go. Now we can go back. Move the points. Cover all that. Just to make sure that might be able to turn the see through a bit more just to make sure that um it's graceful enough lines. Point, I think uh, I need to shift down the picture behind. It needs to come down a bit. I can put the Z brush up. Could insert another point there. Just to get things covered well. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Just need final kind of tweaking. Now we can change the see through. So um in order for this 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 claw to look good, it's good to crease the edges. So just to show you what it looks like if you didn't do that, if you hit the divide few times and you can see how it rounds rounds the, the claw setting out which does not keep it very crisp at all so I'll go back a couple times so if you were to press space bar and go to crease Edge loop complete. Oh, there we go. So that goes to back too. And we'll decrease that. Non symmetrical actions. What have I done? So. Those need to be decreased. So if you have any question at all, if everything's been creased, you divide it a couple of times and see what rounds up and see that's that's not desirable. I'm gonna make sure that is creased there. Now, I've checked to make sure that the creasing's right. Now I just need to make sure that this, this claw is sitting in the center of the world, which I snap to and I see that it's could be recentered. There, ah, oh, there we go. Now it's in the center of the world because the next step is I have to do an array, array mesh. So with one one claw here, you can either make a four, four or six claw setting. I'm just going to go for a four. So I am going to click on there. There's the array mesh. Activate it in a lock position. Repeat would be four and 
so we are going to rotate and uh, what's the rotation it should be is it Z no so that figure there should be 360 there's degrees and you see it doesn't look right just yet until you move it until it's right so let's see it create something new and what you do is make mesh all right delete or freeze the subdivision levels and try again all right so would that be into geometry delete lower now we can go and make mesh and you go up true hang on let's just check There's your object there. Now, we need to append this. So, now you need to make this the center of this new object, which would be there. Let me check out the profile. Okay, we need to append, which is we want to put a little post in there, append with a cylinder 3D, scale it down, oops, we need to oh, make sure that you highlight the cylinder, now scale it down, what's going on here? We also want to make it longer, so you can do that axis. Move it down. Now, we'll see if it covers anything. So it fills the space. Probably could make it a little bit. Locator pin, so also when you're mounting that in your ring setting, it will um, punch a hole out if you boolean it, as well as you could use that possibly as a sprue when you're casting it. And start, finish. Should I merge down? Merge down. There we go. It's not an unoperable. Yep, cool. So, there you go. We just made a cloth setting with a post. You could divide it a couple times to get greater resolution. Okay. Thanks for watching.